Hello, and welcome back to John R. Prospecting. Today, we are going to go through a pay dirt that I have never gone through before. And two, I don't think they're no longer selling pay dirt. I was actually trying to go on their website and see if I could pull them up again. And I can't get the page to load. So I think they are done selling pay dirt. Uh, I'll leave the link uh, for their pater in the description below. Uh, so let me show you the pater. Uh, it comes in the metal one pint paint can and it's from Big Time Gold Ventures LLC and this is the Gold Digger series of Big Time Gold Ventures pater. Uh, let me show you. Um, I actually ordered three of them. Uh, two of them came in this bag. And one of them came in this bag. And we do got some stickers here. Uh, so this is the back of the sticker. It's Gold Digger with the gold bars up here. Their website is www.bigtimegoldhunt.com. And on the other side, it's just like the sticker on the pint from the pater. Uh, but I just tried going on the website, and I can't get the website to come up. So uh, we also got some of these uh, little jars here uh, with screw tops. Hopefully, we can fit all the gold in there. That would be nice. Huh. Um, I can't even, I could probably figure out how much I paid for these for an ROI. I'll have to dig back. Um, we ordered these back in November 17th, 2023. Uh, so let's open this up and we're going to take a look at the, uh, material. So let's grab something that would open up the can here. I'm surprised that they are closed. Uh, like I said, I couldn't uh, get on their website. So if you guys can, let me know in the uh, comments that you guys were able to get on their website. But I've been trying to for a while now, and I can't get it to load. So here is a look inside of the can. As you can see, there's a little bit of material inside that little rim there uh, that holds the top. So let's pour it out and take a look at the material. A lot of bigger material. It's a little bit dusty. I have seen gold already come down. A lot of material. In fact, there's a piece of gold right there. It just went underneath the material. There it is. We just saw a little flash of that little uh, piece of gold. Uh, the only bad thing with these cans is it's kind of hard to get all the material. So you may have to fight to get all the material out. Here comes some more of the bigger material. I think we got all the material out actually. Awesome. Uh, so I don't think there's any more material. I'm trying to look inside that little rim there, but I don't see any more. It's nice and quiet. So let's take a look at the uh, material here. Uh, there is some bigger gravels, obviously. You guys could see them. Looks like regular pay dirt. Uh, not a lot of, it don't like play, just play sand. But very cool. 
So we are going to have to classify that to get the uh, bigger material out. So we got an extra tub here. We're going to classify it plus and minus 10. So I'm going to go classify this material and we'll be back and we'll show you guys the plus and minus 10 classifications. All right, we just got done classifying it. Let me show you guys the plus 10 material. Uh, so here's the material. Not a whole lot. Uh, we did see two pieces of gold. Uh, so check that out. Very cool. I'd say they're definitely pickers. I could definitely pick them up. And they make an awesome sound. Very cool. Uh, I didn't see any more in here. I just went through it kind of fast. Uh, I actually found these at the very bottom. Uh, they were the last things that came out of the classifier when I was done classifying it. Uh, here is the minus 10, and there is uh, a decent amount of black magnetic sands in there. Can't complain. Uh, so we know there is some nice amount. So, very cool. So now let's figure out how much gold is in here. And the only way to do is to set up my panning station. We'll go get some water. Uh, my catch pan with my panning pan. And we'll be right back and we'll find some gold. Alright, so we're going to go through the minus 10 material first. Uh, there's a decent amount of organics in this material too. Uh, so hopefully uh, we'll find some gold in the first pan. You can see all the organics floating on top. We'll get those out. Now you can see them in the pan there. Like I said, hopefully, uh, I'm not too sure if they guaranteed any amount of gold. So uh, I actually went back and watched another YouTube reviewer. Uh, Miller prospecting and he actually got a really good ROI on this pay dirt. So hopefully we'll get a good ROI as well uh, I'll leave a link below in the description for Miller prospecting uh, Please check him out and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber Uh and while you're there, please subscribe to John R. Prospecting if you're not already a subscriber. And please hit that thumbs up. It does help the channel. Uh, also, if you wanted to join my Patreon page, I'll leave a link below in the description for that as well. Yeah, I, so I guess we're taking just a little bit of a break uh, from prospecting out in the wild no reason for it uh, just taking a little bit of a break uh, was going out there like every other weekend um, I do have to go out there again very soon so I will be making more trips before the end of the year So I just got to plan something and just go. Had a lot of fun going out there. Uh, like I do said, I do plan on going back. I'm running out of videos to post from there. And I need to post some. I enjoy going out there and going live with you guys. So I want to go back out there and do some more. So we did find some gold. Uh, we found two pieces of gold. Uh, one looks like a little wire piece. So let me zoom you guys in and show you the gold. Check it out. Here's the uh, wire piece. And that's just a regular old flake, I guess, if you want to say. But very cool looking gold. Especially that little wire. Very nice. So let me zoom you guys back out. All right, so I'm actually gonna leave that in the pan. Uh, we're gonna pan out some more material. It wasn't too hard to go through. So, and 
comparing what I've been panning out, this stuff is simple. Uh, it's not too hard. So far, the gold's bigger than what I expected. Uh, and the material, the blondes, very easy to wash off and separate from the, uh, the gold or the black sands. The blonde sands just wash right off. And I'm sure whatever gold's in there is already on the bottom. But not too bad. Not too sure uh, where this material is from. I'm guessing somewhere west of me. Um, I was trying to see where the package came from. But I can't tell because I got it covered. I wish I could have gone back on their website and uh, looked to see how much it was or check out the description of the pater. Uh, I bought it for a reason. And I thought they were a new seller. Uh, so they didn't last that long. Uh, if they were, if they started in November of last year, and it's the middle of July, so you're talking seven, eight months. I don't know how long before that they were open, but seven, eight months, if they're a new seller, they should have lasted a little bit longer than seven or eight months. Unless they were just putting way too much gold in their uh, pay dirt and they were losing money on it and not making them, you know, any money on their pay dirt. But I don't know. So we do got more gold in here. Very cool. So let me zoom you guys in. There you go. There's the gold so far. Nice of them out so far. Very nice looking. So let me zoom you guys back out. All right. So I'm going to go back and pan the rest of the material. I'm not going to suck any of it up in the snuffer bottle. We'll come back and we'll do that together. So we'll be back when we're done panning out the rest of the minus 10 material. So we'll be right back all right we just got done panning out the plus 10 material uh there's no more in the tub let me show you the gold nice amount of gold as well let me zoom you guys in check it out nice amount of gold there very cool some like crystalline looking gold too almost very cool looking but awesome out of gold very cool let me zoom you guys back out all right so now we're gonna suck this gold up in the snuffer bottle all right let's suck it up in the snuffer bottle All right, looks like we got it all. It's actually nice seeing a lot of gold in the uh, snuffer bottle, let me tell you. I haven't seen that much gold in a snuffer bottle in a while. Just want to make sure that uh, there's no more gold that we forgot. And somehow I backpanned a piece of gold. It does look dirty, though. We'll be right back. All right, we just got done panning out that material, checking to see if there was any more gold. Uh, we did not find any. So now we're gonna start panning out the plus 10 material. And there's the material. There's the two pieces of gold. We are gonna leave those in. So let's pour some out and pan it out. See if we got any gold in the plus 10 material. I don't think there will be, but so 
so far we got that one uh, nice little picker there. Put that down right there. And we'll pour the rest of the material in. So there's only that other little picker there. Um, I did not see anything else. Everything else is washing down. Let me rinse this thing out. There's a little bit of powder in here, not a whole lot. And same thing with this one. go all right let's see if there's any uh fine gold if there's any material in here which there is not so no so let's do our snuffer dump really quick and now we're gonna go dry this up and weigh it we're gonna put these two pickers back in here very cool so now let's put the bigger gold in here well, the minus 10 gold. All right. And let's uh, show you the gold for one last time. Let me zoom you guys in. Very cool. Again, here's that one nice big picker. There's some bigger pieces here. But very cool looking stuff. There's the gold. Very cool. All right, let me zoom you guys back out. All right, so I think I'm going to suck all this gold back up in the snuffer bottle. Yeah, even those two pickers uh, went up the snuffer bottle. Very shocked. There is a couple small little tiny specks in here. I wonder if this was the Indiana gold that I got. But we're going to capture it now. All right, so I'm going to go clean all this up. Uh, I'm going to go dry the gold. We'll be back and we're going to weigh it up and see what we got. So we'll be right back. All right, we got all that gold dried up and ready to weigh. Let me show you the gold. There's the gold. Um, I will have pictures at the end of the video as well. Uh, please check those out. Uh, so now the gold's dried up. We're going to weigh it up and see how much gold we got. If I remember correctly, this was a one gram guaranteed uh jar of pay dirt um i don't remember the price i want to say it was like 89 dollars and 99 cents i'll try to go back and look at my emails and see if i could figure out the price on this uh not too sure how much shipping was or anything um i will go back and try to figure it out uh, but we're right now we're gonna weigh it up and see what we got. We'll zero out the scale. I know you guys probably can't see it, but we're gonna bring you guys in like we normally do. I'm gonna weigh up that one nice big uh, picker that was in there. See how much that thing weighs. And it weighs 0 0.230 grams very cool so let's weigh up the rest of the gold wow 
1.440 grams. That is awesome. Very cool. Awesome amount of gold there. That's awesome. I'm going to bring you guys back. All right. So we got 1.440 grams. We got the gold case here. Uh, so let me show you what we wrote down. Number 22, bigtimegoldhunt.com. We're going to write down 1.440 grams. All right, here we go. Bigtimegoldhunt.com. We wrote down 1.440 grams. That's what we got. And now we're going to put the gold in the jar for the case. Nice amount of gold. There you go. Very cool. Uh, take a look at the gold. Again, I will have some pictures of the gold at the end of the video. So please check those out. And there you go. Um, I'm going to try to find as much information as I can about these uh, jars here. Um, just to see if they are closed or still selling it. Um, I would like to know personally because... If it was a one gram guaranteed jar, we're going to have a really good ROI. Plus, I want to figure out the ROI on this. Um, I want to figure out just because I bought three of them. Uh, and hopefully the other ones are the same too with about a gram and a half in there. I'm going to have to do some research, go back in my emails and try to figure it out. So with that being said... Uh, 1.440 grams awesome amount um and if i do find out anything i will come back and tell you all right so did a little bit of digging i went back uh through my emails and uh paypal uh, as you guys could see uh, i'll post the pictures of the payment uh, so this was from BigTimeGoldHunt.com. Um, we bought the pay dirt on November 15th, 2023. Um, it is the one pint of pay dirt. Um, each pint was $89.99. Uh, so we bought three of them for $269.97 plus $15 shipping total cost was $284.97 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the $284.97 divide it by 3 and we get $94.99 per can uh, so basically we just added $5 for shipping per can uh, since I'm only doing one can, we divided the $15 to three, and we got $5 for shipping per can. Uh, so total cost was $94.99 for one pint of pay dirt. We found 1.440 grams of gold. Uh, gold was $1,962.20 per troy ounce so that makes gold is sixty three dollars and nine cents per gram the total gold value was ninety dollars and eighty five cents that's pretty close to a hundred percent ROI if you think about it total price was ninety four ninety nine total gold value is ninety dollars and eighty five cents so the ROI for this can is 95.6 percent ROI uh, can't get any better than that um, I can't wait to go through the other two jars or the other two pints 
Um, I have a little idea of what I may do with uh, that, those other two. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how those other two are. So um, again, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, take a look at the pictures at the end of the video. We got some more great pictures of the gold. Uh, can't complain about this one. Uh, kind of wish they were still selling. Um, I did try to go back to see if I could go back on the website. And it shows that Safari cannot open the page. So I don't know what's going on with Big Time Gold Hunt. Uh, but this is their website if you guys want to look it up or try to figure it out www.bigtimegoldhunt.com so uh, for the big time gold ventures uh, pay dirt right there big time gold ventures LLC um, and we'll go from there so we got 22 of them done. We're almost halfway there. Um, I do have some awesome stuff to do. Um, I will be doing a versus coming up with one of these. Um, I have another pay dirt that I have not gone through. Uh, so it's another new pay dirt that I haven't gone through yet that we're going to add to our uh, case here. And we got some other cool ideas for 2024. So stay tuned. Uh, if I haven't already, I will be making up my 1,000 subscriber giveaway pay dirt uh, coming up here in a couple of days. I have a little bit more to dry up, and then I'm going to start making up some bags. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We'll have probably a comment video. Uh, and the comment video would obviously... I'm going to leave a hashtag in there or something, and we'll go f that way or something, and we'll figure it out as we go, but uh, again, check out our Patreon page. Uh, I will leave a link below in the description, uh, so check it out. Um, it is also in the About Me section of my YouTube channel for the description. Uh, there's a link there as well. You could support the channel on Patreon. So be safe, be well, and take care, my friends. Thanks for watching.